Hey guys, Indy Zero Gloves here, and welcome back to another video. Sorry for the long awaited drought. You know, we've been busy uh, getting swole and, you know, balling, you know. just balling. You know, got some schoolwork and all that, but we're back. And we have a banger for you guys. With some heat. With some heat. This is a 2023 What's in My Baseball bag. Choo! Look at the new pieces of leather, fellas. Stick around, stay tuned for a showcase of these beauties. These are custom college issues. That's just all, all the sneak peek you're gonna get. But uh, yeah, let's get started with my bag. So starting with the bag itself, this is a Marucci Custom Nunez Community College baseball bag. I actually am a big fan of these bags. You know, it's a backpack type. Pretty comfortable, you know, holds all my goodies. 10 out of 10 bag, honestly. As we open her up, here we have my Nunez Pelicans hat. Go Pels. Go Pels, flock up. As you can see, beautiful teal and white colorway. Ah, here we have my uh, BP top. Pretty stein. No, actually I just washed her for about the first time in like a month, so she's smelling nice. Here we go, beautiful BP top. We wear these during batting practice before games. Size large. She's a beaut, as you can see, very drippy. Then we have the helmet and the PTs. <whistles> All right, starting off with the helmet, classic Rawlings. What is this, mock? Uh, I'm not sure. Not what sure that is. the model, but you know we got the C flap, yeah, the Nunez. I actually took one right off the helmet the other day. Yes, and uh, he was concussed. Concussed, but uh, you know, the helmet saved my life. Yep, saved his life, and he managed to still ball out the next couple of games. Here we are. Nice helmet, I actually really like it. They call me Big 2-8. Now for the BGs. Bruce Bolt's one of these. Yeah, these are the fake off-brand Bruce Bolt. These are the Marucci. They have the resemblance of the Bruce Bolt, but these are only about $50, so you know half the price of the Bruce's. Um, the quality isn't there, like the Bruce's, but uh, these have held up since the summer. So, I mean, they're, job, you know, I mean, they're besides the rip and the thumb, I mean, they're holding up nice and well. Here we have my pro hitter. I've been using this for about eight to ten years now, as you can see. Thousands of hacks under her belt, but she's still pushing. Might have to retire these things pretty soon. And now for the goodies. As you can see, we're always strapped up with snacks and the latest monsters. So I went to go through and show you guys what we eat on. Here we have a white monster. Not better than the, the hot pink one though. Sure. Gatorade Zero. Gatorade Zero, you know we can't drink our calories, fellas. Up, oh, I lied, regular Powerade, that's why it's full. We don't drink our calories over here. Uh, H2O. Zanacini. Ah, uh, baggies. Some dill pickle seeds. These are actually a uh, Cortez. This is a Cortez. Here we have a, uh, huh, haven't seen this in about a month or two. A little Nunez baseball t shirt. Another Nunez baseball t shirt. Probably real stain. Let me flip this inside out for you guys. Pels, baby. There she is. Very stinky. Been at the bottom of my bag for about four months now. And here we have this mess. Whew, what's going on here? If you made it this far in the video, let us know what is your go-to pre-game energy drink. We wanna know guys, is it Monster? Is it Rain? Is it Bangs? Is it Ghost Energy? Let us know fellas, drop a comment right now. Right here we have my Pearl. As you can see, got my name right there. Dedicated for all bullpens. She's a beaut, she really is. Another baseball, pretty subpar ball if you ask me. Here we have an extra long sleeve, white of course. I actually been looking for this bad boy, found it. Here we have another extra large sleeve. This is actually the Adidas sleeve. I know bro's a big fan of these Adidas sleeves. Certified drip. Certified dripper, stepper, big stepper. Got a big I mean, we got about 17 holes in her. You know, she's been through the ringer what happens when you get swole it gets too tight yep you just get too swole for your gear but anywho 
These are high quality uh, sleeves. Get big. Shout out Cali Muscle. And uh, highly recommend these Adidas sleeves. You want to talk about the Adidas sleeves? There's nothing to say. It speaks for itself, fellas. I mean, it speaks for itself. It, it really helps the arms stay nice and warm all game. And, uh, nice and warm. I mean, it really helps that elbows stay locked in. Yep. Locked in all nine innings. And of course, we have the deodorant. Comes in clutch. Comes in very clutch. Might need some right now. Here we go. Yeah, she's super clutch. That will always be smelling good, fellas. Real good. Here's a major key. If you have contacts, fellas, you need the eye drops. Right? You need the eye drops. Right. Without the eye drops, I don't know where I'd be in life. You know, with all this wind going on in South Louisiana. Uh, really need these eye drops for when my contacts get aggravated. And here's the bottom of my bag, fellas. You know, spilled seeds, a bunch of trash, bunch of uh, nonsense, you know. Don't worry about it. In this last section, we have some more eye drops, very key, some seeds and some crackers. So that'll do it for inside the bag. Now we have these bad boys. Pa, 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 pa. Here we have my current gamer. This is a pro, or I'm sorry, Heart of the Hide Pro TT2, 11 and a half inch glove. This is a custom. As you can see, no days off. You know the vibes, fellas. This is all camel with the uh, gold metallic accents on her. She's really wearing, tearing down, but you know, she's doing me well. She's a beaut for sure. Let's get a ball in the pocket. As you can see, I am a wizard. You know, she got a pretty deep pocket, honestly, for a TT2. Can't complain, though, Not you know. Not too bad. Shout out to Lo. And here we have the brand new college issue Pro TT2, Pro Preferred. Woo, she's a beaut, fellas. As you can see, Indy Zero on the side. GYMR on the pinky. The Nunez logo right there. Got the finger stain. She's still not broken in. She's a beaut though, fellas. She's stiff as a rock. Beautiful rich tan leather along with the regular Rawlings tan. Camel, I'm sorry. She is gorgeous. Leave a comment right now. What do you guys think about this glove? Rate her from 1 to 10. We'd love to hear you guys' opinions, but she's a beaut. That's going to just about do it for my portion of the what's in my baseball bag. Here we have the Cam Wood. As you can see, Barry Bond style. You know, hands and speed trainer. Shout out Barry Bond. Shout out Barry Bond. You know, you know how it goes. It's a 32. Couldn't find a 33 in stock. But, you know, she gets the job done. Gets the hands nice and loose. And now, time for my bag. She Start off with this small pocket here. Absolutely nothing in it. Um, also, I usually have my cleats in these. It's molded uh, Under Armour turfs, but I don't have them uh, with me today because we actually got rained on. My turfs were soaking wet, so I had to wear my cleats everywhere. But let's see this mini pocket here. Get her open. Here we have some uh, some uh, old tape, I guess. Marucci, probably for my cat Nan. Bunch of tape everywhere, you know. And that's about it in that pocket, fellas. So let's get to the main portion. Here's a peek at all the gear I have. Here we have a G-form leg guard right here. It actually came with a bottom piece, but I didn't like it, so I detached it. As you can see, the Velcro is right there. Detached it. But yeah, you feel like a jock when you walk up to the plate with this thing around your uh, your leg, fellas. That's how you know we hit bombs. Yeah, that's how you know I hit bombs. Here we have about the stinkiest glove on the universe right here. Wear this underneath my glove every game in practice. Pretty stink, but holding up, it's a Mizuno uh, under glove. Threat right to the side. Ready, smell it. Here we have my helmet. Number one, USA flag, Rawlings. Bro already mentioned this helmet, so uh, yeah, not much to say about it. Pretty slick look. Ah. Did take a ball off the helmet right there. I don't know if you can see it. Shout out Charlie Goodry. Shout out Charlie. The Buford. The Buford. We have an Evo Shield uh, elbow guard. Actually falling apart. The Velcro doesn't stick that well. Got a sticky in it, actually. But yeah, cruise. You know what I'm saying? 
Toss that to the side, fellas. And here we have the Bruce Bolts. Really high quality gloves right here. Tearing though. Tearing a little bit. They've lasted me a while though. I swing every day. Multiple times a day. So it's, you know, it's been through a lot. Another tear. Got the pro hitter right here. Shout out, bro. Came through with the pro hitter for real. But yeah, that's pair number one. Here we have the BP top. Same as that one over there. Toss it over there. Ah, here we have the Evo Shield slot emit drip. Shout out, bro, again. He lets me wear it during the game. Straight drip, fellas. I don't even use it on the base paths. It's purely for aesthetic purposes. Shout out, Ziz. <clears throat> Shout out, Ziz, for real. Here we have my Adidas arm sleeve. Bro, I already told y'all how much I love these things. Next level arm sleeve. I really like the cotton compared to the polyester. Small, medium. No ripping in mine. Lasts me all season. But, uh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Here we have my other Mizuno glove. This one has never been used because it's the right side. And it's purely for just underneath glove purposes. So it's never been used. Here we have an older pair of the Bruce's pretty torn to be honest been through a whole season now sliding through dirt and stuff so yeah this thing has been through it this one too all folded up and getting crusty you know honestly not too bad though crust wise really not too crusty for sitting in here for so long not even a domino's pizza not even a domino's pizza here we have the insole it's about the uh this is about the most grippy insoles there is it's actually in my unarmored turfs i took them out because they're so grippy um yeah i didn't like it gripped my socks here we have my brother's gloves i don't even know how they ended up in here size like youth large or something really small classic nike gloves kind of slippery but does the job and uh that seems to be everything in my bag yup all there is to it so let's get started on the outside here we have my bomb ski, classic, classic gold bomb. No cracks, of course, 33 incher, slick looking bat. Uh, my dog actually got to it, got teeth marks all over, so shout out Luna for real. Shout out bomb bats, they don't break. They don't break, just slammed and didn't break. Just throw that thing around. Here we have my current gamer, Rawlings Pro Preferred Pro S12 ICBR. This glove is so amazing that I had to get a brand new one. Tell them what happened to the crust. My crusty, crustiest of the crust done fell apart, fellas. It done popped about three times in this area. And it's just ripping gray. You can't even recognize it. It's just a gray mitt now, to be honest with you guys. The inside's all tearing and everything. But on this one, it's treating me well. And here we have my college issue custom super raw glove guys super clean look got the black emblem right here black and white new nice pelicans logo swally no days off look at all the details fellas what a beaut 31 pattern one of one of course pro s314-2 for the professional player talk about a beaut fellas not broken at all can't even do a ball in the pocket to be honest but yeah, it's a beauty for sure. And that'll do it for our What's in the Baseball Bag 2023 Spring Edition, fellas. If you made it this far, drop what your favorite part of the video was, your favorite piece of gear we have. We want to know your guys' opinion. And uh, thank you guys for the support lately. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for the patience, too. I mean, it's we're sorry we're not so dedicated. We, we love all of you guys, though. We appreciate all the DMs we get on Instagram and stuff. Speaking of that, follow us on Instagram at Indie Zero, Zero Gloves. Gloves. Uh, we appreciate y'all. We see the comments on old videos all the time. We we love y'all support for real. We don't know where we'd be without y'all. Love you guys. Love y'all. All love. And don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment down in the comment section, and subscribe. Indie Zero out. Pain. Pain.